everyone, welcome back. It's Christina again with The Artist Pod, and today we're going to talk about how to draw an Eastern painter painted turtle. So, let's get arting. All right, so here's the turtle. It's an Eastern painted turtle. They have uh, multiple colors, so there's a ton of color swatches, swatches down here. Um, so let's get started. All right, so I started with the darker sort of base green. Technically, they're darker than that, but um, because I work on a black background, I can only go so dark. And, you know, I'm often working with sort of mid-tones as far as, like, um, shirt colors and things. And it'll get faded if I don't um, have it a light enough, basically. So this is still just that sketching step, right? Like I'm just getting the, the colors sort of sorted out on his um, feet, face, legs, and tail. And then adding in that lighter. That lighter color is kind of a yellowish, kind of a greenish color. They have a lot of detail, which is nice because it's sort of, it's, it's built in detail. I like adding a lot of little effects because it can be really um, effective in adding sort of a, a burst of interest. And the turtle kind of already has a lot of that. Now the shell, um, I end up doing the individual sections of the shell, um, kind of the way I do scales, right? So when I draw scales on a snake, Komodo dragon, whatever it is, I tend to draw them individually. It takes a really long time to do. The shell is a bit bigger. It still took a little longer because, you know, I'm, I'm going to be shadowing and highlighting each of those sections separately. But it, it also adds more detail, right? Like it creates a good effect. It just takes a little longer to do. Oddly enough, the little ones don't take quite as long as the big ones once I got into the good groove of it. And in the sketching step, I just have to make sure that I can see the separation so I know where to put a burst of highlight so it can be a little looser. And then his claws. I'm going to have the light source just debating on if I should have it coming straight down or from an angle. Let's do an angle. Let's do it over here, my favorite side, and have it coming from that direction. And make sure that you start a new layer. That is a mistake I have made, and it is a sad day when I have made that mistake. And then just adding those highlights. The nose kind of comes up a bit, so I opt to put some shadow behind the nose as it comes down. And then, of course, you know, um, any object that's rounding, all edges will be in shadow, even the side on the highlight. It'll just have a, a lesser shadow, so making sure that I still have that built-in shadow on the side of the turtle's head. And you can see I'm lessening up my pin pressure under the nose and under his face there. His shoulder there is going to be in shadow because it's it's sort of blocked by the shell, but then his arm kind of sticks out. Same is true actually on this side. I figured his arm would still be picking up some highlight because it's sort of sticking out, but um, part of it would still be in shadow. This one's going to have a good deal of highlight here. It's on the side of the light source and it's not really blocked in a significant way. And then, you know, I just have to try and make sure that all of these lines make sense with the lines I've already drawn. What's nice about doing it in this order, you know, layer order matters in Photoshop, is um, I didn't have a lot of space to work with with the stripes, so being able to put them on top gives me more room. And 
And there now I'm shadowing the individual sections of the shell. Which again can, can take a little bit of time because I'm not drawing the whole shell, right? Like I'm, I'm sticking to like a segment at any given time. And then just like I do with anything, you know, you break down every object by its shape. Um, so this is the same thing, right? I'm, I'm sort of breaking down every individual shell by its shape and highlighting and shadowing it accordingly. But thinking about the whole, so on the left side, where they kind of round down a bit, um, there'll be a little bit more of a shadow on that back side. You can see there it, it's got that little bit of extra shadow because the shell would be just rounding just that little bit away from the light source there. And then I'll have to make sure for these, especially on the other side, is that um, as I start getting the shadow with them, I add just a little bit of highlight. So it's not nearly as prominent, but it's enough you can see a separation. Whereas on this side, the highlight's going to be a bit more prominent. It's on the side of the light source. And then his claws, which are almost in the shape of triangles. So, you know, just sh shading them, highlight, adding shadows in that way. Again, there's less room to work with on the, on the claws. And then his eyes. Turtles have such weirdly shaped eyes. And I brighten up his nose just a little bit because the light source is probably coming just over. And here I start experimenting. So I'm trying different things on, on giving his eyes a highlight. Under the water, there wouldn't be much of one, which is why I opted to try and experiment. So now I've, I've decided to see what it, just a little burst of highlight is going to do to him. And then I take that off. And then I'm taking a blue and I'm sort of mixing in a blue on top of him in like uh, um, an organic sort of way. I end up not liking that and I got rid of that and I'm back to just giving him the highlight again. And then I try putting the blue on top of the highlight with little sort of squiggled lines, which I end up not liking. And I just go with the highlight and I turn the highlight just a little bit blue to give it a little bit of an extra pop. All right, so that is how you draw an Eastern painted turtle. I hope that was helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I've done. And in this specific floating nether box, it's a video that goes a little bit more in depth on how to paint the turtle. So thank you so much and I will see you all soon. Take care.